Eight days a week was a technical nightmare. It was fun to do as far as I think the only thing, only now the screams in my head have just stopped. I was here two years ago and in the canteen. And uh, someone said to me, you know who was next to you in the queue of the canteen? I said, oh, it was Ron Howard. I said, oh, that's, I'm working with him on a film. And they went, you should meet him. I went, I don't want to, I know, I don't need to meet him. I'll see him, see him, you know. And then I was in my room and he knocked on the door. I was like, hi, I'm Ron Howard. And I said, like, you know, nice. and he was the nicest, the nicest guy. And he said, what do you want to do? What do you think we should do with this film? And I said, I want to, what I want to do is I want to know what it's like to go and see the Beatles play live. That's what I want. He goes, great, that's what we should do. I said, you know, what have you said? Because then you get the tape sent through to you and you just go, oh, I mean, it's, it's like, you know, I said to people, if you imagine taking your iPhone to a gig and recording it, it's worse than that. You know, it's this. And so then you realize that, you know, one thing my father taught me um, when we did the Love Show, he goes, you know, you do realize that if you put something through 7,000 speakers and it doesn't sound very, sound very good, it's going to sound a lot worse than it does because it's be one speaker. Same with cinema mixes for film. You know, you can have something that sounds kind of, bad on an iPhone or on a laptop. Put in the cinema, it's going to sound a lot badder, to use good English. So it was a big challenge, but I think we got there. You know, it's that thing, you know, I'm essentially English, so I'm never, never really happy with anything. So it's, you know, it's, we just won a Grammy for it, so I guess, I guess it's okay, but you, you kind of think, you know, do, do, we good, do a good job? And we used a lot of technical stuff. We, we couldn't have made eight days a week without Pro Tools, without... Um, you know, using programs without really digging deep into the audio. My father used to watch me um, work when we did a love when we did a love show. I always remember, and I'd I'd say, oh well, I think this can go here, and we can do this and do this, and he goes, good lord, it's like you're manipulating audio like it's putty, as he used to say, and and, and it's true. That's the way he saw. And for him, it's complete. You know that, in a sense. But the funny thing is that that's what he did anyway with tapes. You know, I just do it with Pro Tools. So um, with eight days a week, we, 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 I knew what we, wanted to, what we wanted to go. It was just how do we get there? And it was a fascinating and arduous process in getting there.